Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'm from the Wild Learning Project. I'm an environmental educator that loves wildlife. I'm going to be reading a wildlife story for you that I hope you enjoy and stick around to the end. There might be a special guest star. Today we're reading Salamander Dance by David Fitzsimmons. In late winter or early spring, when snow begins to melt and cool rains begin to fall, spotted salamanders crawl out of their woodland hideaways. They travel at night to vernal pools, shallow depressions that fill with water in spring, but often dry up in summer. Vernal pools are perfect places for salamanders to lay their eggs. Through slippery leaves, down muddy slopes, salamanders slide silently into the rising waters of their vernal pool. They join wood frogs that have also migrated to the vernal pool for egg laying. All night long, the wood frogs sing, clack, 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 clack. The water teems with life as insects swim among the wood frogs and salamanders. Paying little attention to the other animals, the salamanders gather on the bottom of the pool and begin to dance in the dark. While the wood frogs sing, clack, 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 the salamanders twist and turn, swing and sway. Males move their heads back and forth as they swim around females. With their soft snouts, they gently nudge each other. Following the steps of their ancestors, they dance all night long. Within three days after laying their, uh, after their nighttime ballet, Females lay eggs, attaching jelly-like sacs to underwater twigs and branches. Then the adult salamanders slip away into the cool night. Crawling across the forest floor, they return to their woodland hideaways. In the vernal pool, the eggs shimmer under the warm spring sun. Inside the eggs, baby salamanders called larvae begin to grow. In about a month, the larvae poke out from their eggs. Surrounding their heads are feather-like gills, which they use to breathe underwater. The larvae move about the vernal pool, wiggling back and forth, Hungry, they eat all kinds of small animals, including plankton and tiny insects. The larvae grow bigger and bigger. They flit around the tadpoles and other creatures in the pool. Spring slips into summer and the larvae sense that their pool is disappearing. The heat of summer begins to dry up the water. Most or all of it will soon be gone. The larvae change dramatically now. Their gills start to disappear and they grow lungs. Their tails grow stouter and their legs get longer and stronger. This is called metamorphosis. Then young spotted salamanders leave the nearly dried up pool and find their own woodland hideaways. Time passes and autumn breezes begin to blow. Fall rains come and colorful leaves drift downward. Then snow starts to fall. Nestled in their forest burrows, the salamanders hibernate for the winter. With the approach of spring, the snow begins to melt and cool rains begin to fall. The vernal pools fill with water again. 
wood frogs migrate once again to the wetlands and sing clack, 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 clack. And the spotted salamanders climb from their winter beds and slide silently into the rising waters of their dancing pool. Once again, the salamanders twist and turn, swing and sway. All night long, they dance and dance and dance. The end. So I'm very excited um, to introduce a special guest I have today. You will recognize him from the book we just read called Salamander Dance. It is Pokey the Spotted Salamander. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Pokey is a male, um, but spotted salamanders can be found on the East Coast. I'm here in North Carolina and we have them here. Um, I have lived in New Jersey. They have them all the way up there and farther. Um, they are called a mole salamander because they live a lot of their life underground or on the forest floor. You'll see it has a very rounded snout. Annie is one of the bigger types of salamanders. Other salamanders are much smaller than him. Um, he's a little carnivore. He's going to eat lots of insects. And do you see that beautiful pattern on him? of the yellow spots. Well, that is to tell um, predators that might want to eat him that he does not taste good. He actually has a, a toxin um, that he keeps in glands and he can secrete the toxin. And if a predator gets a mouthful of him and that toxin, he tastes really gross. Um, so that's how he protects himself, is that he doesn't taste good. And those colors of black and yellow say, warning, I don't taste good at all. So you'll see he's got a little Muppet mouth. He lives most of the time in little um, burrows, kind of like we saw in the book. Um, usually it's other animals make the burrows and he'll live in them and come out only at night. When they migrate, they like to migrate in the rain when it's nice and moist. Um, in New, um, North Carolina here, these guys have already gone to those vernal pools to breed. Um, and now they're already on their way back to their homes and their larvae are developing already. Um, I suggest that all of you go looking for salamanders with an adult. Um, you can look for salamanders under rotten logs and rocks. You can look for them near the water. There are some that like to live in the water. Um, a good technique for looking for salamanders is in when you are lifting up anything and you want to find a salamander underneath, always lift the item towards you um, so that if there is something a little dangerous under there, it can get away from you and not go towards you. Um, so you always want to lift towards you instead of um, um, kind of away from you. That's a good technique. And when you're looking for wild animals, you always want to treat them the way you would want to be treated by a stranger. Now imagine, would you want a stranger to come up and hug and kiss you? Probably not. So a wild animal wouldn't want that either. So always be respectful when you go looking for wildlife. Um, I want you to enjoy them. Um, see if you can find as many as you can, but always make sure you put their hiding place back where you found it and make sure that the animal is safe and sound when you leave them. And that's all from Pokey the Spotted Salamander. I hope you have um, fun and adventurous salamander hunting in the future. Thanks for watching. Please check out the video description for some links to uh, activities, programs, and also the story we just read. And we will see you soon. Thanks.